And I've done everything under the sun to put on muscle. The most extreme shit you can possibly even imagine. You guys probably don't even understand what I did to try to grow to be the best bodybuilder, okay? Now, watching the sport, even when I was competing and watching everyone else do their thing, and even to now, nobody, Dallas is maybe the closest one, maybe, has ever put on muscle like Nick Walker has. I'm confident enough to put whatever amount of money down for someone to challenge that, to say, hey, this guy grew more than Nick Walker. And I'm not talking about just weight. I'm talking about muscle, not water weight, not fat, not scale weight. The amount of muscle this guy is able to continuously put on. And I know the first thing everyone's thinking, steroids. He's taking a lot more steroids than everyone else. He has IGF, he has Incrolex, he has growth hormone, he has insulin. And guys, I had all that and more and I didn't grow like that. So what's the answer? His f***ing genetics are insane. The question, well, what is Nick taking that I'm not taking? What is he doing that I'm not doing? What's he eating? He must be lying to us. And that's exactly what everyone's doing right now in the IBB in the sport of bodybuilding to Nick Walker. They're like, well, he must have something special. Oh, he's just taking crazy amounts of growth. I know what he's taking. Guys, yeah, he could be taking everything under the sun, but you could do the same thing as Nick Walker. I could do the same thing as Nick Walker. I'm not gonna get results like that. And we're gonna compare what he looks like right now compared to, I don't know, whatever month I pick because he's growing every single month. <laughs> I've never seen anybody grow continuously like this. It's literally like Nick goes to the gym is like, I'm gonna grow that muscle today. I'm gonna train this muscle and it's gonna grow. And it happens because when I look back at his photos and the videos I did constructing him, everything has caught up. I'm not talking years ago. I'm talking months ago. Listen, my hat's off to him. I know I don't have a hat. I don't even have any f***ing hair to give to him. So this is the most recent photo he put up, the front double bicep and rear double bicep, the most exposing bodybuilding poses you can do. And what I mean is these poses show everything. You can't hide a weakness in either one of these poses. If you do these two poses, I can tell you right now if you're missing any body part because you see everything with these poses. The only thing he's missing is a f***ing tan. Let's talk about his arms. They just keep growing. I don't know how, but they keep freaking growing. Then we look at his lats to waist. Um, you can't call him Mr. Refrigerator anymore, whatever else you used to call him. I think refrigerator was the name. Sorry, Nick, I know it's like a, a sensitive subject, but Nick, you're the furthest thing from a freaking refrigerator now. Now you're just a mutated freak. I know he said he wanted to win the Olympia last year, but man, I'm putting a I'm putting a strong bet on him that he's gonna be challenging these top guys. I mean, Rami better be on point. Rami better not look like he did last year or someone's gonna be replacing him. Maybe not be Nick, but somebody will replace him. And Nick is going to be knocking on the door. If they give Nick a fair shot and he looks like he's supposed to at the Olympia this year, it's going to be really hard to keep them off his back. I mean, Hottie's in trouble. Bonac's in trouble. Hunter's in trouble. Everyone's in trouble. I hate to say it, but Big Rami's in trouble. Everyone's in trouble. Now, looking at the waist, the lats, like I was saying, lats are getting fuller. He's getting wider. And I'm going to show you from the back how much wider he is now compared to what he used to be. Then going down to the waist, you know, he had that quad injury last year. does not look like the quads injured anymore. His legs look really good. There's some good detail in them. There's separation still. You can still see the vastus medialis. You can still see his teres drop. His sweeps are getting bigger. And if the shorts weren't there, you could really see where the sweep attaches really high. This is a really, really good complete shot. Now look at this versus last year. Now, if you guys don't see what I see, look at right the middle of his back where his rhomboids are, his traps are. Look how much wider and thicker his rhomboids are how much bigger and wider his Terry's muscles are and his lats are. And again, this is only going to amplify and make the illusion even more to the waist. And it's going to bring that V taper in and then legs coming out. The abductors are huge. The sweeps are huge. The hamstrings are dug out and the waist is really good from behind. I mean, the lats are really attaching really low now and you can see the thickness. Look at the spine and then look at the lower back meat just like getting thicker and thicker around there. And when he gets lean and pulls this water and fat off, it's going to be so 3D now compared to last year. I mean, this year, it's going to be next level shit. I mean, next level shit. I don't want to forget, but the boulders and the arms, I just the triceps are just literally hanging. They're just hanging there. It's actually wild. It's wild what his arms look like from behind too. And the legs, as always, look crazy. Calves look good. Most muscular. Now, my last video, I talked about his physique. I 
basically criticized his chest. And it doesn't look like his chest is a problem anymore. He's really filling up this, this space here by his collarbone, his upper pec, where it ties into the front delt. This whole area is getting nice and full and thick. The lower pec, look how much thickness the lower pec has on it now. He never had that that 3D-ness to his chest. His chest was kind of flat last year, I'm not gonna lie. But this year, you could tell right now there's way more tissue here across his mid, his upper, and his lower pec. And I'm gonna show you a side shot in a second, and you guys are gonna be blown away. Arms, uh, <laughs> arms, the arms are just massive. They can almost touch in the middle, they're so big. And now, the front delts don't look as overpowering as they used to compared to last year. I mean, look at last year versus now. It's crazy, when he pulls off this 20, 30 pounds, whatever it is, with those cross striations in the pack and then the abs, oh man, it's gonna look gnarly. Now take this in for a second, okay? I know the side chest is out of this world, but just wait until I show you February's photo of the same pose. You guys ready for this? Look at that. This is just 60 days ago. 60 days ago, this guy transformed. It looks like a year's progress in two months. 60 days, not six years or anything, 60 days. How is that possible? Okay, and he's not gaining weight. He's just putting on more muscle. He's not 320. He's pretty much the same weight. He's like five to 10 pounds fluctuation from February to now. Is that not wild to you? I have never seen somebody do that. Never. Like Dallas grew really fast. Don't get me wrong. Really fast. He was an amazing bodybuilder, but he didn't have the rock hard muscle maturity that Nick does already. So Dallas might've been a little older than Nick compared to where he's at now, but Nick is just... <laughs> miles ahead of Dallas. If they stood next to each other, Nick would blow him out of the water. No offense to Dallas, he's my boy, but Nick would destroy him in a pose down because of the amount of muscle tissue he has and mature muscle. Dallas didn't have that rock hard muscle yet. He didn't have the conditioning Nick does. So Nick checks all the boxes already. He has conditioning, he has the size, he has the muscle maturity, the, the detail, the striation. I mean, it's wild what he's able to look at at under 30. You don't hit your stride until you're like 30 in bodybuilding, 35. What could Nick look like? I, I, I can't even imagine what he's gonna look like. The muscle's gonna be crazy thick. Like, I don't think we've ever seen someone that dense before, ever. Like. The only person that comes to mind is Branch Warren. And Branch Warren, Branch Warren doesn't look as good as Nick, I don't think. I really don't. Now, when we look at Nick Walker's quad here, okay, usually when you train legs, like your upper body kind of like deflates a little bit because all the blood's going in the legs and the pump is crazy in your legs. But nope, not Nick Walker. His arms are still just swollen, exploding out of his shirt. I mean, looking gnarly, but the quads. The quads were definitely something he really had to improve. He wants to move up those placings this year at the Olympia from fifth and so forth. And looking at them here with a pump, you could still see the vastus medialis in his leg, even with a gnarly pump. They're exploding out of his skin right now. I mean, if you guys